So, hello everybody, it's Philippe de Browse here and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we give you tips and tricks on performances in dance. I dance West Coast Swing and Solo Dance and it's my joy to share my journey with you and to share things that can help you on your way. You're very welcome to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be kept up to date with tips, performances in dance. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a more of a vlog style. Uh, on how I might do some of my practice to help me become, to grow as a better dancer. So, uh, ooh, a drill just started, I hope you can't hear that. Uh, so what you could do, this is my room, and sometimes I will practice in this room and put the camera, because it's such a small room, I'll put the camera um, vertically and I'll put on maybe two songs and I will hit record and I have a special playlist which I put, I call Video Ideas. I like to do, yeah, I have a playlist uh, called Video Ideas with songs I hear and I think, oh, that could be good for a video. And then I'll practice that to that music. I might do some freestyle. Uh, I could do like a combo I've learned to that music or I might just do some drills. The music's there in the background, but I'm just practicing certain drills. For example, uh, movement of the body, of the hands. If I'm West Coast, practicing West Coast Swing, I'll do some West Coast Swing drills. Yeah, so I'll practice those, the music, and then, um, sometimes I don't even do music, uh, or should I say, I don't do recording. I don't do any recording because um, I don't have, I just want to focus more on how it feels rather than like how it looks on the camera. And then I might watch back the video later. And watch it back I could pause it I could on my iPhone or hit that uh, the video the reel you know when you go you can just slowly go backwards and forwards to watch it slowly and, and zoom in zoom out and get ideas oh that was a nice movement that wasn't such a nice movement oh I feel really bad at my dance thing no I do feel that sometimes but then you might have to have a break so yeah I'll do that and uh, I do find it really helps actually and I think oh yeah you're looking down a lot unless I'm doing that on purpose I might try and look up a bit more project more as I'm dancing. Oh, my face is really serious. I think I need to smile more. I live with my parents, so we have a lounge here, but it's always been used by them, understandably. But they go out once, twice, maybe three times a week to the supermarket. When they, that door closes, I come out, set up my tripod, and I'm like, oh, I've got like half an hour, an hour. And I'll use the lounge, it's much more spacious, and I can put my phone in the landscape do my practicing there. For example, I've been watching ballet videos. I'm not a trained ballet dancer, but I really enjoy watching loads of ballet channels to help me um, just learn more about technique, you know, turnout, moving um, from the center, how I hold my arms. Um, so I might practice pirouette turns with, with the camera rolling. I could have some music in the background as I'm practicing. Then I might do some West Coast swing, for example. Imagine I'm leading somebody, an invisible partner. You haven't seen those videos on Instagram, I've got a few of those. I'm dancing with my invisible partner, which is quite funny. I also like to post my solo dance stuff as well. Uh, you know, if there's stuff I liked in that video, many videos do not get posted, funnily enough, as well, because I'm not so happy with how they went. But that's okay, I'm on a journey, it's a process. So I'll practice in the lounge. Um, so West Coast Swing, with that invisible partner, imagining I'm leading them, dancing to the music, with a film roll, camera rolling, or not. Uh, or solo dancing as well, freestyling to the music. I might focus on certain elements, like, oh, I'm gonna focus more on showing that groove, maybe slowing down, so it looks like I'm reacting to the beat rather than just going too fast, for example. So I hope that was useful for you, some ideas here. And uh, yeah, I may also show you some uh, actual practice. I might set up some now. So here we are, I've just set up my uh, dance studio, which is my room basically. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty tight. Uh, but this is what I, uh, what I sometimes do for my practices. Is sit from time to time here or in the lounge uh, when the people are out and I can actually use it. And here's an idea what I might do. I'll put on some music and have a freestyle to it. So here we go with some music and you can watch me practice. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my feet and maybe mark out what I can hear in the song. Bear in mind I haven't heard this one before. So let's try now. Me trying to 
mark out certain bits just with the feet. A man might use that as practice just doing with the body or with the chest and so on. But yeah, just uh, enjoy the journey you're on, I always tell people. And uh, yeah, just know it's a process.